don't know if you know this about me, but I have three loves in my life. Cars, tech, and sports, aside from my family. And when I get to combine the cars part with tech, that is generally when I am at like my happiest. And when you think of like performance cars, cars that are like meant for speed and track, like the true definition of whatever a driver's car is to you, and I'd imagine one of the companies at the top on most people's lists is BMW. So while BMW, I think has been riding pretty high on their well-deserved reputation for really world-class engineering in their cars, they've been doing some skunk works behind the scenes, designing something incredibly new. The NDA for this event was about 16 pages. The secrecy here was something I have never seen for an event. What they showed us, so secret, that I can't even show you the video yet. I will be able to very soon. And when you get a chance to see the future, which I know sounds cliche, but this really was the future for BMW, it's hard not to get excited. So let me tell you about a technology that's going to be in the next generation of cars. When BMW asked if I wanted to go out to Spartanburg, I just like, assumed it was in Germany. Shows I don't know geography very well. It's in South Carolina. And it's where the factory that builds all of their X series of cars are. And it's also where their performance center is. Uh, where I got sort of to preview the newest set of cars coming out. Like I talked about earlier, the insane tech that they're putting in their brand new Neue class of cars, which is just German for new class. I'm gonna probably call it new class because my German's not great. You've likely seen concepts of these cars kind of all over, they've been showing them for a long time. But I can only talk about like half of what I saw there, but I will be able to tell you everything super soon, and it is like really good. So this will be kind of a two-part video, and again, a shout out to BMW for sponsoring both of them, but today is part one. Today is like the wrapping paper on the gift. I'm gonna talk about the tech inside these cars. It's how you and the car communicate with each other. If the tech is bad, it doesn't matter how good the car is going to drive. And the same is true if the tech is good, it's gonna make the car experience that much better. BMW is known for an amazing driving experience, right? They're the ultimate driving machine. They're looking to make it even better with BMW iDrive that is now going to be powered and called the new BMW Operating System X. It's not 10, I asked, System X. So we went to this big curtain of things where they said they were gonna shrink us down for a presentation. And kind of what we saw there was a gigantic, I don't even know if you can call it a steering wheel, but it was the new wheel, the new button layout, the new interaction, the new display for what's going to be in their next generation of cars. There's a lot to talk about, but inside of these new class of cars, there's like, there's four main elements. So first is what they're calling BMW's panoramic vision. It's a customizable display screen beneath the windshield that goes across the entire dash. And it's kind of like widget powered. You can see certain things there that you want to see for your car. You find elements that you want and put them up there and you can customize it for how you're driving. It's kind of a quick way to get information. It's like widgets on, on your iPhone or your Android device. I don't want to just gloss over that. But being able to see this information quickly at a glance is incredibly useful, but also being able to customize it. There are times where you want navigation or you want weather or you want something sort of particular to what you're doing at that time, but then you don't want it again. You've got the ability to sort of flex those things in or out. Second thing is a central display and it's kind of an angled design with a matrix backlit technology. This is gonna be, we're gonna mostly like interact with things. It's gonna be the control for most of the things you're going to do. It's their touch screen. It was incredibly fast and it was incredibly smooth. As they were showing all those things, they asked if people had questions. Um, I probably abused my question and answer, but I did ask things that I wanted to know. So yes, uh, Apple CarPlay will still be part uh, of the new BMW operating system. So the things that your hands are gonna be like touching and holding, it's like the steering wheel. And it obviously like looks different, meets the new multifunction steering wheel. And what it's gonna give you is haptic feedback for controls. So if you're scrolling, you'll actually feel the scroll as you go. What also I thought was interesting about it, the things you can interact with at the time will illuminate and kind of make it easier for you to find what to do. So like if you're getting a phone call, for example, the answer or hang up buttons will illuminate on the wheel. So you're not kind of looking at a center screen and deciding what you wanna do. It's a quick glance and you can decide if you wanna take it 
or not. The last element was a BMW 3D head-up display, and it works like an AR head-up display, where it adds graphics for things like navigation and automated driving. This was a first for BMW as well, and I kind of asked like, what information is gonna be shown, and my first thought was like, show everything up there, and they were like, well, we don't wanna show everything on a HUD, that's what the center display is for. We don't wanna distract the driver by seeing everything. What you can do is customize what's going to be shown uh, on this heads up display. And elements of these are things that exist now in cars. Being able to put them all together was something I hadn't seen before in a car. You can interact with the car obviously via your touch, but also via voice. There's a natural language dialogue with BMW Intelligent Personal Assistance. It's their large language model. Kind of similar capabilities we've seen with other car assistants, but BMW Operating System X, they developed this sort of in-house and sort of underpinning the next generation of BMW iDrive. Also, in case you're wondering, this Operating System X is based on the Android open source project software stack. What that means, uh, integration with third-party apps. And this is, again, other questions that I asked, things like video, audio streaming, they're talking about gaming, productivity, and more will be there. And I asked like specifically, like, what kind of games? What, you know, what game stores will be there? And they couldn't answer those questions, but they did say games. And then I was like, what kind of video streaming? Uh, video streaming at least will be there, or ultimately will be there, and obviously be updated via over-the-air updates. So BMW's got like different drive modes too, uh, and they call them my modes. And they're things like personal, sport, or efficient, and the look and the aesthetic change depending on which one of these my modes I bet you're in. I wish I could have had more hands-on experience with the Hopper System X, even in a, a closed environment. I didn't. Uh, what I did get was a VR experience that kind of showed me what it was going to look like in the real world. And as far as like a second best thing, that was pretty good. Be able to see all the elements sort of in place in a kind of a real world environment uh, was awesome. But again, actually being able to physically touch and look is a different experience. But if they deliver on what the VR experience was, I think they'll definitely have a winner on their hands on the software side. All right, so again, Two part video, this is the first part. It was a teaser showing the brains that's going to be in this next generation of cars. And again, the brains aren't good, no matter how good looking the car is, let me tell you it is really good looking. Uh, it's not going to matter. What BMW is doing and building towards is a really impressive crescendo that I'll be able to show you very soon.